Show along, back with part two, all right? Titled uh, Fealty, all right? Uh, let's continue here, all right? This is Pybirds, third chapter. We'll pick it up here. We'll be down to verse three. My son, forget not my law, all right? Law, statutes, commandments. But let thy thine heart... Heart in Hebrew is lob, which means minds. Keep my commandments, okay? For the length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. See that? Verse 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thy heart. And again, heart in Hebrew is lob, which means minds. So it's talking about your mind. And everything begins with the changing of your minds. Let me take you to a preset. All right. Let's see here. Give me a minute. All right. This is Romans 12 and 2. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by what? By the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that is good and acceptable and the perfect will of the Most High. All right? And that's the King James Version. Let me read the NLT, see what it says. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. All right? Matter of fact, what's a good precept for that before I finish reading the rest of it? Uh, give you an example. Uh, go to Colossians 2 and 8. All right. Give me a minute. All right, this is Colossians 2 and 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophies, okay? Like canon, you know, the book of the dead, all right? And all other kind of books like that. Again, people... Itself is created by Esau, all right? And that's all a snare, no different than the churches. You understand? To ensnare you, all right? To keep you from coming into the truth, which this man hates, all right? And the truth lies here in the scriptures, all right? This is why they take down our videos, okay? They, they, they try to uh, get muzzled and silence the truth. But nonetheless, okay, that's all in vain. Okay, because the truth is out. Okay? The genie is out of the bottle. All right? The horses are out of the barn. All right? There's nothing they can do. All right? All right. So, beware lest any man spoil you through uh, their philosophies. I've given you, you know, an example of that. Vain deceit, which is what? Lies. All right, and this system, this place is built on lies. Okay? Um, what is that? Uh, give me a minute here. Oh, I'll just take you over there when I finish. Let me finish reading this. All right. As in their lying wonders which basically means uh, it's consci consciously and intentionally falsehoods. That's what this place is all about, this matrix. All right? It's an anti-Messiah system, and it was designed that way and set up that way by Esau. All right? Um, I'll show you that in a minute. All right? After the tradition of men, see? So, you know, don't be spoiled by men's philosophies, their vain deceits, after the tradition of men, all right, as in, you know, the churches. Again, that's all a snare. That's a giant snare for them that works even until this day, all right? Remember, that's been going on since the Renaissance to this day, all right? And two-thirds of our people are destroyed by that, all right, amongst many other things, other snares that Esau has created. See, and after the rudiments of the world, you see that? 
And again, you can't, you have to separate yourself from this place and this world and its ways and its customs. You understand? See, and not after the Machiach here. So that's who you should be following, is the Machiach, not the rudiments of the world and men. You understand, people? All right? Let me show you this thing about line one. Let's, let's go back to this here because I have to go on the blue letter to do it. Let's finish this up here. So, again, don't copy the behavior of the customs of this world, but let the Most High transform you into the new person by changing the way you think. Didn't we read that already? Okay, right here, cross, right? Because that's what we're reading, Romans 12 and 2. All right, we read the King James Version. All right, everything starts in your mind with the changing of your mind, transforming your minds, all right? And then you will learn to know the Most High's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect, and it is. Okay, this this is the way. All right, this is the straight gate. You understand? So if you're going by the wide and broad way, that leads us on to destruction. Okay, and many that go in there at, and I'm quoting uh, what is that? Uh, Matthew's, you know, uh, you know, seven, thirteen, and fourteen. All right. And 14 uh, says, so enter in at the straight gate, which is a narrow path, all right? And straight means a degree of difficulty, all right? In other words, you can only pass through there as an individual at a time, okay? You can't go through there as a couple or a group, all right? That straight gate, all right? But that is the way that leadeth unto life, everlasting life, immortality, new body, rulership, co-heirs to the kingdom with Yahweh Shai, pursuant to Romans 8, 17. You understand, people? And if you're part of the elect of the 144,000, that also means a crown upon your head. All right? All right. Uh, where else I was going to take you to? Give me a minute. All right. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 9. What does it say here? Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. I repeat, even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan. So this is talking about man, all right, who comes after the workings of the spiritual entity Satan. Do you understand? So it's talking about man. And who in particular? Esau. He's that man of sin. Have you scrolled up? Okay. Verse 3. All right. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling way first. And that man of sin be revealed. And he's being revealed, is he not? All right. The son of perdition, which means destruction. That's what he's about, death and destruction. All right, he's a harbinger of death. All right, as you read over there in uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter, around the fifth verse, he is as death. All right, verse four, who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worship, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High. Well, When we read Isaiah 14, all right, give me a minute. All right, this is Isaiah 14. What does it say here? For thou hast said in thy heart that I will ascend into heaven, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High, and I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. Didn't we just read? that he would sit in the temple. Well, the temple and the congregation and the church is talking about Israelites. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that make up 12 tribes. 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that he dwelleth in you? You understand, people? You are the temple. You are the church. You are the congregation. 
So here it's telling you the same thing. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation. That's the Israelites in the sides of the north, North America. What is this talking about? Oh, how about falling from heaven, oh Lucifer? Lucifer is not talking about the spiritual entity Satan. Lucifer simply means light bearer. It's talking about the light bearer on the left hand side. It's talking about the Illuminati, the international banking families, your Rothschilds, Oppenheimers, Rockefellers, etc., etc., 13 families and all. All right? How are thou cut down to the ground? How did he weaken the nation? See, here's further of his God complex. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud, and I will be like the most high. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the side of the pit. Hell is a condition, not a place, like being put into slavery or being in the grave. You understand? Verse 16, and they shall see thee, right? All they that shall see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, is this the man? I repeat, is this the man? You see, we're talking about man, Esau, Edom. All right, the man of sin. Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and that did shake kingdoms? That made the world a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof? That opened not the house of his prisoners? See that? All right, let's get back. Okay. Showing himself that he is the most high. See? And we jump down here. All right? Okay. Then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, which are the prophets. Luke 170 will tell you that. All right, starting with our elbows on down, we are the mouth of the Lord. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That's that brightness of his coming. That's that thermonuclear fire from the ICBMs. All right? See? So even him who is coming is after the workings of Satan. All right? Again, he has many titles. He's also known as the dragon, all right, which goes back to their uh, Greco Roman empires, all right, uh, the old serpent, which goes back to the garden, all right, and then that spirit went into Cain, and from Cain, that spirit went into Esau, and all of this is spiritual people, all right, so who's working, who's uh, after the workings of Satan with all power and signs and line wonders. Let's click on that. Line wonders to show you. Line wonders. See what it says there? Pseudos, right? See here? A lie. A conscious and intentional falsehood. That's your matrix. This anti-Messiah system, all right? known as America Babylon the Great. In a broad sense, whatever is not what it seems to be. A perverse and impetus, deceitful precepts. There you go. See? Falsehood. All lies, people. Built on lies. You've been given nothing but lies. All right? All right? All right. And for those of you, you know, you don't seem to get it or to understand. Uh, verse 10 here, what does it say here? And with all this evilness and unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth. Yeah, because your minds have been perverted and corrupted. All right? That they might be saved. All right? You know what? We'll end this here. I'll be right back. All right? With uh, part three. Shalom.